In today's quick tip, see how we easily get four looks like this, 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 and finally this from a simple two light setup with barely moving a light. I will show you how easy this is and what the lights metered at to get us here. I'm using a combination of both hard and soft lights for this shoot. I'm using a telezoom reflector for my main light and an Elenchrome indirect octa is my fill light. But in order to get more looks from this setup, think of your main light having to do with the position of the camera and your model relative to your lights. For instance, the telezoom reflector metered at f8 while my softbox metered at around f2.8. So this is a three stop difference. I metered it using the optional flat disc for the L308X to isolate what each light was doing separately. The dome could be used in this instance as well, but it would take in light coming from all directions. And when I'm documenting my lighting setups, I want to make sure that I meter each light individually. When I'm shooting straight on, the telezoom is my main light and the Elenchrome Octa is my fill light. This gives me a Rembrandt style of light and a very traditional portrait setup. When I shoot from camera right, I get the light coming from almost directly over the top of the camera, and now we see the model's face is more evenly illuminated. This is a high key look, as if the model was looking into direct sun. Moving to camera left, now the Elenchrome Octa becomes my main light, and the Telezoom is my accent light, giving me this look of sunlight coming over the model's shoulder. To create another look, I then turned off the telezoom reflector and dialed the Octa up three stops and just used the Elenchrome Octa. I really loved how the background transitions from dark to light and that you can see the subtle texture of the canvas. For this shot, I used a gravity beige low texture backdrop. I love the way the canvas absorbs light and this color is great to complement neutral tones as well as really pairing well with skin. It worked perfectly with our color palette for this shoot. I like that it easily grays from warm to cool without too much fussing around in post. I chose a low texture, almost flat color backdrop because I didn't want to compete with the patterns in a model's wardrobe. There is a beige mid texture backdrop as well to complement this low texture beige. Both these backdrops can be found in the Gravity Classic collection, ranging from around $300 and up in eight different sizes. Try this in your own studio. Use a hard light source as your main light. You could even do this bare bowl. If you don't have an Elenchrome Large Octa, use a 65 inch deep white umbrella with a sock on it for a similar effect. Start with a three stop difference between your lights, but feel free to raise or lower it. I wanted my light right to the point of getting a catch light in the subject's eyes and making out some detail in their face. But I love to see what works for you. Send us your results on Instagram or tag us in your stories to be reposted. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see more quick tips just like this.